Hey guys, it's Tim Miller from The Bulwark. I'm here with my buddy Sam Stein. We both suffered through three hours at 2x speed of Donald Trump talking to Joe yeah, Rogan. it's not three it. hours at 2x speed. It's just an hour and a half, right? Okay, yeah. But it was yeah. three hour, a three-hour interview. We launched at 2x speed, so we suffered for 90 <laughs> minutes for you. Right. Um, and uh, I want to go over a couple of the biggest clips. Uh, uh, the, partic- the most newsworthy thing was just Donald Trump's complete incoherence on the 2020 big lie. There were some funny clips. Also, we should talk about like his physical prowess, which which he discusses with the, which a UFC expert. Uh, but first, uh, uh, before we get to the most embarrassing, shameful, conspiratorial Trump clips, uh, Sam, what was your big picture reaction to the discussion? Well, I, at first, I was sort of like three hours is just a lot. Like I don't want to hear anybody speak for three hours. And mm. and in fact, I didn't want to hear him speak for three hours. <laughs> About an hour and a half in, I was like, "What am I doing with my life? I've made really bad choices here." Um, it was Same. just really meandering, honestly. And there was parts where you were just like, they were like, you know, twenty minutes on you know UFC fights and the microfacturing of ankles, and then you know we had some. I'm sorry, tangent. I thought that's where Joe sounded the smartest. Was well, that's because that was his the, expertise. Yeah, I mean, I think Joe sounds really, really conversant in the microfracturing of ankles. And, and i got to be honest, UFC Trump style. knew his UFC fighters, like the guy clearly watches. And then they were talking about, like, whales and, like, whether wind turbines were, like, causing them to come on shore. Like, there, it just dipped. The, and at points, you know, you could see Rogan was, like, this thing's got, he even said, he's like, you know, your, your weave is getting wide and we need to bring it back. But it's like two guys who don't really know much about the substance, but think they do. And then, um, I think, you know, you'll touch on it too. Like Trump comes off as just sort of like, um, not like a a menacing guy, but just sort of a absent minded man who just can't really focus. Yeah. I, to me, it was, it was reminiscent of like, you're at a country club and the guy you've done 18 holes and, and guys are sitting around, and they've had a you're couple tired beers. A little bit, yeah, 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 and they're a little tired, and they're looking at the Wall Street Journal, and they're like, "Did you see this article about the whales?" And they both <laughs> read one article or saw a couple tweets about it, and like, but feel like they're experts because they're rich, and they feel like they can just kind of vamp about it. Like it, it felt like two rich guys just vamping about something they yes. read two articles oh, about. Exactly. Okay, so there's like several times during the interview where they went on some tangent. And I was like, this is absurd. Like, there's something wrong here. And I was like, I think I need to look this up on Google. Like, yeah. where are they getting this stuff? And lo and behold, you'd like find an article. You'd find the article you clearly know they saw. Like, it was some NPR thing or yeah. some Wall Street Journal thing. It's like polio. It's like there's one time where Rogan was like, you know, Trump was talking about polio cases being on the rise in some country. Maybe it was Haiti or somewhere in Africa. And Rogan was like, yeah, that's because it's polio vaccine. And I'm like, is it? What? And so you go on, you like go online, you like find the article, and it's like, yeah, there's like four cases of like people getting infected from polio vaccine, but like millions are being like, you know, immunized. <laughs> right. And the whale thing too. I was like, what are they talking about? It's like that really wind turbines causing them. And you look on it, it's like people say it's wind turbines, and like actually no, it's not. And so you can see the articles they read while they were after you know done with their eighteen. Well, that someone told them about in Trump's case. Yeah, maybe. exactly. Yeah. exactly uh, yeah. Or, and and the, there's the tab Lincoln. Uh, Trump goes off on how sad it <laughs> was, was really, how, yeah. how, how Abraham Lincoln and Mary Todd were so depressed because Tad had died, and it's like Tad died after Abraham yeah, was shot. Uh, he lost his son, and they suffered, the two of them suffered from melancholia. They didn't call it depression. Uh, they called it melancholia, and they suffered from it. He was a very depressed guy, and she was a very depressed woman, more so than him. And on top of that, they lost their son, whose name was Ted, Ted. And uh, it was uh, just seeing it in the little pictures, a little tiny picture. I mean, you can't see the details there. Little tiny, everything the way it was, a little tiny picture of Ted, who he lost. And it was devastating. I mean, uh, that, I gotta be honest, that was, I don't want to, I, I know we need to get to it, but when he said Lincoln had the yips, yeah. he's like, it's like, like a putter, you know, because yeah. everything is golf with this man. He's like, Lincoln had the yips, you know, people know, people kept saying he had the yips. I was like, what is he talking about? But, you know, he probably heard it from someone and, and, and related like yeah. it was historical fact, so... Yeah, my other two takeaways just on the Rogan side. The only Rogans I've ever watched before, well, that's not true. Uh, well, it, it, this is true actually, are, are with ex- subject matter experts. 
Um, right. And so he comes off fine in those because, like, the expert is smart, you know? Yeah. And so he doesn't need to ask follow-up questions. He's, like, the dumb person asking the smart person questions. And so he comes off fine. I, I also watch the Peter Thiel thing. But, again, as menacing as Peter Thiel is, he's smart, you know? So I, except for one exchange on climate <laughs> where Peter came off sounding very dumb, um, like – uh, Joe Rogan doesn't seem that dumb because Peter is the smart one talking about right. AI and all these tech issues. Peter this, shepherding the conversation. Yeah, in this convo here. where it's a dumb man talking to a dumb man, Joe seems very dumb because there were no points where Trump says anything where he's like, is that correct? Uh, there was Well, there's one point actually, which we'll get to next, but yeah, but go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. And it's a great segue to what we're going to talk about with the election. But like there's various points where, the, you know, it's very clear like Rogan, in his heart, I think he wants to care about the deficit, right? And he kept mm-hmm. talking about the deficit. And he kept being like, so why did a deficit go up under your administration? Yeah. And Trump kept being like, you know, COVID. And it's like anyone with like a sort of simplistic understanding could have been like, no, sir. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was going up beforehand. Yeah. You know, Trump and was like, saying he, the first year they had a surplus. At one point, Trump said the first year they had a surplus. I know, it's like, I know, no, I know, I know. No, actually, no, wrong. And so that's why this interview, you know, I was funny. I was talking to um someone about back when Harris was like potentially doing – this show, she might. I mean, Rogan hinted that it might still be happening. I don't think it will. But so there was like a week where Harris was doing uh, Fox News and Joe Rogan. Everyone thought. Yeah. And everyone was like, oh, no, man. The Rogan stuff is really risky. And the Fox. I was like, no, the Fox one is the risky one. Rogan's yeah. just going to. Rogan just wants to talk. Like, yeah, that's all right. he wants to do. Anyways, go to your point because I think it's a good segue. Yeah. And um, so I, I, Rogan's inability to challenge him is um, is one. The other thing is that Trump. Uh, as you mentioned at the top, Trump sounds like a rambling old man, not like a menace. And I yeah. think that, and I think this is important because when you hear focus groups of the younger men that are moving towards Trump that are kind of socially liberal, that are gettable, not the Charlie Kirk young men, but like, you know, pro choice young bros, you know, uh, Trump doesn't sound as scary to them as like some of us make it out to be at times. And so you have to kind of point, get underneath why Trump is scary by explaining what 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 it is that he's saying that's really so dangerous. And that takes us to, I think, the most, the actually, the thing that, that might not have to a lay person seemed that dangerous or scary, uh, but was the worst part of the interview for him. And that is him and Joe Rogan talking about the supposed fraud in the 2020 election. Uh, let's listen to that clip. I want to talk about 2020 because you said over and over again that you were robbed in 2020. Yeah, totally. What, how do you think you were robbed? Everybody you know, always cuts you off. I'm going to they allow... Do. Well, they not only cut you off. Well, what I'd rather do is we'll do it another time. And I would bring in papers that you would not believe. So many different papers. That election was so crooked. It was the most crooked election. Okay, but give me some examples of how. Well, let's start. Let's start okay. on the top and the easy ones. Okay. They were supposed to get legislative approval to do the things they did, and they didn't get it. In many cases, they didn't get it. What things? Anything. Legislative they made, approval, like of... for extensions of the voting, for 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 voting earlier, for this, right. for all different things. By law, they had to get legislative approvals. You don't have to go any further than that. If you take a look at Wisconsin, uh, they virtually admitted that the election was rigged, robbed, and stolen. They wouldn't give access in certain areas to the ballots because the ballots weren't signed. They weren't originals. They were. We could go into this stuff. We could go into the ballots or we could go into the overall. I'll give you another one. Are you going to present well, this well, let me, ever? Uh, like, what, do you do you think like? Let me a, just give you one okay, more go before. Ahead. Fifty-one intelligence agents come up that the laptop was from Russia. <laughs> Are you going to present this ever? <laughs> uh, uh, am I? I, there's nothing. He has nothing. Like he goes onto the conspiratorial show, and it's not. And it's just like, oh, in Wisconsin, some people admitted it's rigged, stolen. And it's like, what? No, 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 nobody. Yeah, did, nobody did that. You would think that, like, I was a little disappointed in Trump on, at this point because you would think that someone who's like, you know, swam in these waters for so long would have a, a better answer to this. <laughs> like, like just being like, you know, they didn't have standing. It's like, come on, you, you got to give us more, man. If you're going to buy, if you're going to buy the bit, you know, like give us a little bit more. Um, you can but see but Rogan. Yeah. This is the one point where you can see Rogan. That's like, yeah, Rogan, like, hey, man, Rogan's I like, do like, conspiracies. All right. Like yeah. you got to be able to give people some meat. I mean, Rogan literally said, I'm going to give you the floor. <laughs> like, yeah, right. I'm going to let you talk. But, but Tim, I gotta be honest. Like, even in that case, like, 
he seems confused and meandering, but he's just like, I, I, I imagine the lay person's just like, ah, oh, this is just like a, a, like a, like a confused old man. Not like, right. and that's, I think a problem, obviously. I think like people don't really understand that in fact, even a confused old man, in fact, maybe a confused old man is more inclined to do dangerous things than someone. So I, I you know, I thought yeah. overall, and this is like, where Rogan a, not asking follow-ups, right? Cause like if I'm right. in the Rogan chair, I'm like, okay, wait a minute. You've you've given us nothing. Like you're just like, well, they admit exactly. it's rigged and it's and it's and you know, are you going to present anything? It's like, well, and it's like, well, wait, cops died at the Capitol because you made right. up this lie. Right, like that. Right. Like the consequence of the meandering, Rogan never gets to. Right. But right. Like, and that's why this is not clear. a news interview. This is a conversation, right. and that's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Like I'm not like against the conversations. Three, have three hours. Like go for it. But like that that that's the problem though is that if you let him just and and this is the problem with all conspiracy theorists is if you just let them go unchallenged then it just kind of seeps into everyone else and i thought that was you know anyways we we don't have to linger on that but i thought that was problematic there's a little bit more i just i needed to pause at the moment where he was like are you ever going to present this like we're we're at year five of this and rogan's like are you ever going to present evidence of the thing that caused the capital to be storm and trump's like not just that it's like Trump's total cause of existence is yeah. this thing. And he's like, can you like, please make the case at this can you point? present yeah. some evidence? And I was like, well, am I? No, I'm not, actually. Let's continue. I won by, like, I lost by, like, uh, I didn't lose. But they say I lost, <laughs> Joe, they say I lost by 22,000 votes. That's, like, one-tenth of one percent less than that. It's a tiny little thing. 22,000 votes spread over. The, that's spread over this this period. So... 51 intelligence agents lied. They lied. They lied. They knew it was. It was Hunter's. It was from his bed. It was Hunter's laptop. They said it was created by Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. It was the Russia right. hoax. The Russia hoax was a big hoax. It was all a big hoax. So well, that's clear. Get that's well, one example. Well, well, that well, is a good that's example. A big example. They say it made a 17-point difference. That's a big example. But that's only one. And you can go into the ballots where they wouldn't give you access to the ballots. You could go into the ballot harvesting. You could go into $500 million for the lockboxes. But just in terms of narrative, so there's two things, right? There's the Russia hoax. There's the collusion with Russia that was never proven, right? That's one. Well, it, no, it was proven it didn't happen. Right, right. Yeah. But but they as they talked about it on but television. But it took two and, and a half a, years to prove. But it, not only that, but it was a constant narrative on television. So sure. that's and, a constant and, and, narrative that gets into people's minds, especially low information people that just watch the news, sure. that you're in collusion with Russia. So that's one. Sure. So that changes the narrative. And then yeah. you have the 51 former intelligence agents that work with the original Twitter and right. get them to remove links. You can't share it on DMs. You cannot share that story. They, they swept that story because they said it was Russian disinformation, even though they knew it was not. 100%. So, so that's two examples that are real examples. Now, anyone who considers themselves a legitimate, objective observer of American politics. If you really want the best person to win, you would want people to not lie. This one, this one makes me mad, actually. Um, yes, but, uh, but I, I think I love, I, let's say. let's laugh about Joe Rogan calling other people low information voters for a second. Uh, sure. the people that are consuming the real news. Uh, but this this pisses me off because it's like. Uh, that the election is fraudulent because of these supposed lies about the Russia hoax and the and the Hunter Biden laptop in the media. Like right. so, just at, at a base <laughs> level, Russia did interfere in the 2016 election to help Donald Trump. It's like that that happened. It's like when you say hoax, it's like well, no. I, I mean, maybe some of the accusations were the P tape might not be real, but like Russia did intervene to help Trump win in the 2016 election. Number two. I've said, and every time this comes up, I'm like, I don't think Twitter should have shadow banned the Hunter Biden laptop. That said, everybody saw Hunter Biden's dick pics. Like, like, if you wanted to see the Hunter Biden laptop, you could see it. This was not, it was not like the idea that this was a 17 point difference in the race that Trump would have won. <laughs> You're like, who said that? The people are saying that I would have won, I'm doing quick math here, 64 to 36 <laughs> if we had seen more of the Hunter Biden laptop. No, okay, no, that's not, that, not, that, that's not, that is what would have happened. But finally, the thing that pisses me off the most about this is, is it's like Trump's like they lied they lied Trump's whole existence was based on saying that Barack Obama is from Africa 
Okay, like that is that's the whole that's the whole reason Trump got into politics because he started because he was the main person saying that Barack Obama was really from Africa, not from America. So whenever these guys are like, oh, they lied about me, these are, like even if they did lie, even if the Russia hoax was a hoax, that doesn't invalidate the election. Like I, you you advance similar worst lies, frankly, about all about your, every single opponent that you have, and so does Fox. And so does the whole right-wing media ecosystem. Like, media people saying something that is not true does not invalidate an election. Rant over. Yeah, well, I, thank you. Right, first of all, I love that you're taking this credulously. Like, like yeah. You know, I like, have to take it of course, it, yeah, like, of course it, it's it, ridiculous. It has 9.5 like, million views as we're taping this. By the time we put this up, no, so I'm the just, people I'm talking about the 15 million. I, I'm talking about the idea that, like, of course it's absurd. Like, oh, the 17 point swing because of that. What are we like? We, I, I would love to know the data point. I'm sure like Bad Ombre like has some data point on Twitter about some. And also, you don't think the P tape's real? I'm sure. I'm, sure, I'm talking about that. Uh, I, I think it's. I think it's ridiculous. I, to, I, I don't want to like belabor this, but like the Hunter Biden laptop story, like arguably the Streisand effect from suppressing the links caused us to get way more publicity than it otherwise would have Certainly, I would say. Yeah. I mean, and then beyond that, we have real life evidence for the impact it has because it's all been reported. It's been the justification for, you know, James Comer's investigations. It's all out there. No one gives a shit anymore. Like, I mean, yes, obviously in the last two weeks of the election, it's a different context, but like, I don't think the real world political impact of it is massive. And then I think the, the Rush Hoax thing, I mean, this just gets to um, what you're saying, which is like, if you just say over and over again that something is a hoax, it doesn't make it a hoax. It does in the mind of a bunch of people who are like, oh yeah, definitely it's a hoax. But like, there are legitimate cases of Russia interfering in the election. Like, we can't just it's deny it because he said- I yes. mean, Russia, Putin's talking to Elon, going to the Wall Street Journal yesterday. Um, oh man, I, did you see the Elon story this morning? So no, good. I just woke up. Oh, Wapo reported that he actually uh, was here illegally in the United States. Oh yeah, I've been I've been on this for a while. <laughs> it was very like there's an old video <laughs> of his brother. <laughs> yes, being, I saw. Like, He's like, like I illegal. think we came here illegally, Elon. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I've been on this for a while. Elon, yeah. the illegal immigrant. Uh, yeah. More reason since he was an undocumented immigrant that he should probably not be our number one government uh, government contractor. We hear legally secret, now, but... Uh, with top secret securance. To do I don't know. A yeah. foreign national. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the uh, the last one we have to get to... Yes, this uh, is for me. Is, uh, there was, Wait, can there, I want to go through... I want to go through a few more before we get to the last one. Okay, Because there was some there was some stuff in here that I think is worth just sort of marinating. I'm looking real quickly. Um, he said he was really actually open to ending the income tax. I thought that was interesting. And replace um, it with tariffs. Yeah, that would work. Um, I encourage anyone to just read like any rudimentary economic paper on what would happen. I mean, it was just like the most regressive, horrible thing. Inflation would skyrocket. People would not be able to like buy goods. It would be nuts. Um, It'd be really great just, for the forgotten man, the working class person. I mean, in some respects, man. I kind of want to see it. I don't want to see it happen. I'd like, I like. I part of me wants to like see some of these things like tried out so that people suffer be like, wow. consequences of their actions. Well, it's just yeah. like wow, that was a really dumb idea. Like, why did we? Why did we think that would work? Um, <laughs> there was, sorry. The, he he. At one point, he's talking about. Um, I forget how they got here because the weave was so vast. Uh, but they got to. Uh, uh, he, he, Trump revealed that he. Talk to the CEO of Google, or that's right, the CEO of Google reached Sundar. out to him. Yeah. Sundar, yeah. Sundar reached out to him. Um, I, you know, who knows if Trump's lying or not? Because yeah. in his, it could be totally made up. But he said Sundar reached out to me and he said, you know, my stunt at the McDonald's like set Google records. Um, I thought that was interesting, <laughs> only because if it's true, again, we don't know. It's just like it's just another case, both of like these tech oligarchs kind of cozying up to the guy but also it's so funny because sundar is like oh you know it would really make him happy and probably get him off my back just tell him his video did really well yeah, all right <laughs> good it job was, donald it was the best ever it was the googlest google of all time donald. yeah we had to, the servers were overwhelmed it is worth <laughs> like, noting just a brief aside that yeah. that, that like of all of the oh were the outsider <laughs> Sorry, the tech elites the are coming from the me? googlest google <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we really have Googled us. <laughs> all of these people are after him. Like his whole brand is like, oh, that he's anti elite and he's shaking up the system. Oh, yeah. And we he's and we've got Jeff elite. Bezos, yeah. Zuckerberg. You and Musk, JVL pronounce it and Bezos. Su- I'm, and I'm Sundar. still Bezos. I'm still Bezos. I don't <laughs> mind doing it wrong. All okay. suckling up to this with this an- the anti hero. Great oh, job. Man. It's totally true. And Bill Crystal wrote about this the other day. The oligarchy is for, I mean, like the MAGA oligarchy is just big tech dudes for Trump. And it's not just them. It's like these finance bros. It's like unbelievable. I thought here, I, I honestly think Harris should have done more with that. I honestly believe like there was a real populist uh, thread to pull yeah. and she just, and maybe it happened too late, but that seemed like an easy one. Okay. Uh, quickly. Uh, he, he told a really interesting story. <laughs> Sorry. Really interesting. Really interesting. I'm, really excited. I'm, excited. I'm, I'm waiting with bated breath about what this one is going to be. And I, I, I need to be candid right now. If people have made it this long in our video, uh, I didn't make it the I whole three so. hours. I didn't That's make it the whole three hours. <laughs> I, I quit around two hours, 25 minutes because right. it was unbearable. Oh, me too. Yeah, no, okay. I was at 2.30 and I was just like, I can't do it. Also, I was two gin and tonics in and I was, um, <laughs> I was watching the World Series simultaneously. So my memory might be wrong, okay. but I'm pretty sure I'm remembering this one correctly. Uh, he was talking about – we had gone from the withdrawal from Afghanistan to a visit he took as president to Iraq. And he's talking about being in the plane and like – all these sir stories are happening. It must have been like his 15th sir. Sir. Uh, and they had to like turn the lights off. He's like, why do we have to turn the lights off? We pay so much money to this country. We shouldn't. But I'll turn the lights off. And then he got on and he's like, look, the pilots. He's like, these guys were better looking than Tom Cruise and even taller. And I was like, this is just. Low bar. Tom yeah, we're tall. Yeah, man. I hope they're taller. Um, but he kept going on about how handsome the pilots were. Um it was a weird entry. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll shut I, up. We can get, really, get to my golf thing. That's not usually my type, the tall, strong pilot type, but uh, I'm Who's interested. His type? I'm interested. It's Donald's type, yeah. I'm interested. Right. I'd like to know well, more. Okay, the final, right. the final clip the final for everybody. One. If you made it this long, this is your, this is your dessert. Um, <laughs> Joe Rogan. I mean, I'm sure he's on steroids or something, but say what you want about him. He does seem to take seriously you know, his health exercise working out weightlifting you know uh, uh this, this this seems to be something he's passionate about so you know he is it's hard to tell if he's tongue-in-cheek here suspending disbelief <laughs> or what he's doing but he asks donald trump how he stays so damn fit how are you so healthy is it golf no, it's genetics, I believe. You know, I'm a big Genetics believer. is a big factor. I, I really am. I mean, my father was... Uh, he Unfortunately, was it is guy. a big factor for health. So some people are just way more robust. But you do yeah. play golf a lot, and that both, is exercise. Both of my parents. It, 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 for me, it's good. It, fresh it, air. It really is. It's exercise. fresh air. You're outside. Um, yeah. Even mentally, you're focused on right. that three-footer. And for, yes. some, for a couple of hours, you're not. And I go quick. I play fast, real fast, and I'm... I'm in, I'm out. But, you know, it gives me... I was never one that could, like, run on a treadmill. I just, And I can do it. You know, when passing a physical, they ask me to run on a treadmill, and then they make it steeper and steeper and steeper. And the doctor said it. It was at Walter Reed. They said, it's unbelievable. I could have gone... <laughs> I'm telling you, I felt I could have gone all day. But I said, Doc, I can do this all day long. I'm not... I have no problem. Sam, um, was it the golf? Is it the golf? Do you think? Or is it, do you think it's the push-ups? Is he is he doing a little? Is he is he getting CrossFit in once a week? Or, or what do you think? What do you think it is? Some bicep curls. So this is such a classic uh, answer. I play golf, okay, um, and I have not been working out recently, but that's election focused. Hmm. Um, this is such a cla- classic golfer's you're answer. Such, you're such a it's straight like, man. Yeah, I know. I'm a golf. <laughs> I gotta go hit my uh, nine holes here. Um, no, it's like if you're a golfer and you don't work out, like you just rationalize that, like, oh yeah, I was definitely walked a lot on the golf course today. <laughs> got a lot of steps I'm in. Doing today. great. Got my steps in. But like Trump, it's everyone knows Trump doesn't. Trump takes a cart everywhere. Like right. it's like well documented. So he's like, oh yeah, I'm out there on the golf course every day. But the best part about it was like, <laughs> he's like. Oh, uh, yeah, it really works. You know, my it, there's a real mental exercise, really working my mm. brain muscles here. Because you're standing over that three foot putt and you're just, you have to exercise your brain. And I was like, no, <laughs> you don't. Well, you're thinking you about, you're, you're thinking, thinking about the about curve of the green. 
Yeah, the you curvature, know. the pace. You got to make sure that the uh, the grass. You got to look at how the grass is going. Is it Bermuda grass? Like, do you want to make sure? Is there dew on the grass? Like, I guess in some respects that actually does really rack the brain. And you know what? Maybe that's why he's so smart. But I think that um, in reality, when you're looking over a three foot putt, and it's Saturday, and you're just kind of chilling, you're not like building brain muscle that way i think you're just playing golf probably i hate, not. To, break, I hate to break it to the fellow I, golfers because I, I too have rationalized it this way and now it's you taking the answer credulously uh i just my response <laughs> to this exchange is uh a oh, friend in the product on the production side <laughs> my only response to this is i want to put up the video of just the image of donald trump putting on his mcdonald's outfit where you can see his breasts oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. falling over the outfit let's put that picture up on the screen there that's my response to the Donald Trump. Oh, being, we can leave being, it. Leave it there. Leave it there. <laughs> thank, thank, uh, uh, get, get, get me a McGurdle. Um, thank you, everybody. No, he's uh, like, get me a McGurdle. I've been I've been walking the golf course for like a couple of hours. I deserve it. <laughs> like, that's what you thank you. thank you to my friend Sam Stein. Uh, we'll be back all weekend. I'm I'm going to Madison Square Garden, oh, and, and apparently it's going to be like hours long. I so. could, when they sent the when they sent the. Uh, the uh, speaker list. I was like, "Oh my god, that this thing's going to be three to four hours." I don't know Easy. how I'm going to do it, guys. I don't know how I'm going to do it. So, so make sure to come back to the feed and and make my time worth it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you all back here soon. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>